Hello children. Today we will learn about future tense. What is future tense? Yes, any action which is going to happen is expressed in future tense. Future tense is broadly divided into four categories. They are simple future tense, future continuous tense, future perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense. Firstly, let us have a look into simple future tense. What is simple future tense? When do we use it? Yes, any action which is going to happen is told in future tense. Now look children, we cannot predict the future. Hence, we can call it a resolution or a wish. Now look at the sentence pattern or the verb form used here. Here we use will plus verb. Will is nothing but the modal verb. Now look at the examples here. I will study for two hours from tomorrow. We will speak in English now onwards. Look children, even shall can be used instead of will for only I and we. You will become a great scientist. He will be happy if I prepare biryani for him. She will attend the meeting tomorrow. It will make him famous. They will play carom next week. So these are some of the examples for simple future tense. Come, let's move to future continuous tense. When do we use future continuous tense? It is used to speak of an action which will be happening for a period of time in the future. For a little span of time, this action is going to be happening in the future. Such actions we write in future continuous tense. Now look at the verb form here. It is will plus be plus verb plus ing. Verb plus ing is nothing but the present participle form. Now look at the examples here. I will be correcting your notes tomorrow. We will be composing a song next weekend. You will be getting a lot of projects next month. He will be sailing to Philippines the coming week. She will be rewarding all the employees. It will be serving its master faithfully. They will be applying for a loan. So all these actions are going to continue. They are not going to stop at just a particular moment. They are going to continue for a span of time. Now let's move into the next one. That is a future perfect tense. Here the verb form used here is will plus have plus v3. V3 is nothing but the past participle form. When do we use future perfect tense? It is used to describe an action which will have finished by a particular time in the future. For example, I will have written a book by 2025. That is by 2025, I will have written a book. That means I haven't yet finished the book. I am at least continuing or I am planning to start. But I haven't finished, I haven't written it. By 2025, this process will come to an end. They will have reached by to Chennai by this time tomorrow. That is this time in the sense now. Now it is what time? The same time tomorrow they will have reached Chennai. This is an assumption. We will have got our memos by October. 
you will have visited half of india by the time you are 26 26 means 26 years old he will have purchased a house in 5 years she will have learned french by this time next year that means she is learning or she is planning to learn in the future by this time the next year the learning process of french would come to a conclusion it will have fetched a profit of 50000 by december now we move on to future perfect continuous tense what is this tense yes it is used to tell about an action which will keep happening until a particular moment of time in the future the verb form used here is will plus have plus been plus verb plus ing verb plus ing is nothing but the present participle form let's have a look at the examples here i will have been learning grammar till i get fluency we will have been offering jobs for 1000 people by 2021 that means we are in the process of offering jobs now the number hasn't reached 1000 and by 2021 this process in this process we will reach the target of giving the job offering job for 1000 people you will have been introducing 100 new artists through this new venture He will have been serving the institution for ten years by the end of this year. That means the ninth year of his service is running, and by this year end he would reach the ten years. She will have been organizing this event for twelve times with this sports meet. That means already she has organized for eleven times, and with this meet it is the twelfth time. it will have been running for 6 years by next january it may be a machine it may be a vehicle or whatever they will have been publishing 1 lakh copies with the next order i hope you all understood the usage of future tense and what all point of time we use the future tense thank you children thank you for watching and for further updates kindly subscribe our channel thank you and god bless you all thank you